YouTube channel and I just wanted to do a video of me sitting down <laughs> I feel so retarded. Anyways, okay, so I have three questions for y'all today. I am gonna be doing a sit down and I am gonna be talking to y'all about self care. But before we get started on this subject, you guys, I want you to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you comment down below whenever you're done. Um, self care, I'm gonna ask y'all three questions before we get started. Do you spend most of your day taking care of everybody else around you, making sure that they're good? and leave yourself last yes or no do you feel guilty when you step out and take some time for yourself yes or no and by guilty i mean like the, are you worried about what's going on at home when you're supposed to be taking a breather and relaxing and not caring about what's going on whenever it's like off your shoulders that's what i meant yes or no and three do you ever feel like you barely have any time for yourself yes or no so if you answered yes to any of these questions, I feel like this message could help you in somehow, some way. So I wanted to talk to y'all about this because I myself deal with this. So comadres, get ready. I got my snacks. I got um, a strawberry jarritos right here. Can y'all see strawberry jarritos? And then I got me some flaming hot nacho doritos which i just tasted and these are super 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 spicy so i probably shouldn't be eating them because i know i'm gonna feel every single bit of that heartburn later on but i'm also gonna be doing my makeup while we're talking this is mainly a video for my comadres my ladies my housewives my hardworking women even if you're a single mother even if you're in a relationship a wife whatever the situation is even if you ain't got no kids but you feel like you're always working it's this message is for all you ladies that answered yes to any of these questions so before i get into the subject let me start with my makeup let me get it all set up i have everything right here all my brushes i don't, I don't know if y'all can see i have all my brushes i got my go-to palettes and i got a mirror and i have my beauty blenders which they're kind of dirty so don't judge but whatever um and I have my mirror right here and first, let me take my ring off, you guys. I always like to take my ring off whenever I'm doing anything with my hands. Cooking, washing dishes, cleaning, doing my makeup, whatever the situation is, even when I shower. So first things first is foundation. This is not a tutorial, so disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I'm not gonna be teaching y'all how to do y'all's makeup. Y'all watch me while I do it, and if you get some tips while I'm doing it, good for you. Take notes. To me, self-care, let's, hold, hold on, let's Google the meaning of self-care. Washing your ass. <laughs> Why self-care matters. It's so important to make sure you take good care of your body, mind, and soul every day. Not just when you get sick. Learning how to eat right, reduce stress, exercise regularly, and take a time out when you need it. Take a time out when you need it. So, with that being said, self-care to me is basically taking care of myself. As much as I take care of everything else around here, like how the same way I have to wash the dishes every day, sometimes even twice a day, I have to take care of myself, whether that's meditating in the morning, whether that's taking a hot bath for like 30 minutes, whether that's stepping outside and getting some quiet time, whether that's doing my makeup for an hour because you know we take forever um but yeah self-care is basically taking care of yourself in whatever state that you feel you need it like if it's mentally girl you're gonna need that time out to where you just shut everybody out and you just like process everything that's going on self-care is whether you need to exercise whether you see that you're gaining weight or if, you know what i'm saying you just feel a little heavier or you just want to get more fit or more toned and you're gonna need to go exercise that's self-care it's so important for you to understand that a lot of times we let ourselves go because of everything around us that's going on and you just need to like snap out of it sometimes and actually sit down and take care of yourself 
So this is why I decided to do my makeup right now while I was talking to y'all because it actually makes you feel better whenever you get ready. Whenever you wake up in the morning, do your makeup, do your hair, and get dressed and not, you know, walk around looking like a hoodlum. And I am addressing Michael Madres for the most part right now because, again, I feel like us as women, we take care of everything around us and, and we just leave ourselves for last for the most part. And we basically need this. I feel like men get to like take a breather more often than women do. Um, so with that being said, man, don't get offended. You might have to sit this one out, but y'all still my compadre. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is support your woman. Sit right next to her and allow her to listen and let it soak in. And also, a lot of times y'all don't even y'all don't even know what we're going through mentally because I know me myself. I keep a lot to myself. I, we don't express ourselves as much as we should. I feel at least. Um, and if you do, kudos to you, girl. Keep doing that because it's very important to express what you're going through mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's important when it's negative and. It's important when it's positive. Like if you feel happy about something, you know, nine times out of ten, you express that to your partner. So the same way you would express happiness or something exciting in your life with your partner or whoever, it's important to express the negative as well. Anyways, my kids just walked in. The girls just got home from school and they're already trying to like flood me with a whole bunch of papers that I have to sign. Which it's not a it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that you need to neglect your family. I'm not saying that you need to just tell everybody shut up and leave you alone. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying that every now and then, every single day, you need to put some time or schedule an hour where you get time for yourself, where you can do your makeup, where you can relax, where you can take a nap, when you can exercise, when you can do whatever you feel that you need to do in order to keep yourself sane, to keep yourself balanced with everything that's going on around you. So I wanted to give y'all tips on self-care because sometimes we don't even know what we can do for ourselves. That twice a month or even once a month that I go to the nail shop, that is part of my self-care because I feel like I need that time away to get pampered, to get my nails done, a pedicure to, for, for them to rub my feet. Girl, you know that the pedicures are a necessity. But anyways, when I'm at the nail shop, nine times out of 10, I'm always like texting Lucky, making sure that the baby's okay, that he's not driving him crazy, that he's okay, making sure that, you know, I let him know like, oh, this is what they're doing, I'm almost done, this, this, and that. And I drive myself crazy because like, I'm supposed to be taking time for myself. I'm supposed to be taking time out to relax and just get everything off my mind and pamper myself, treat myself. And by the time I'm done at the nail shop, the whole time I was at the nail shop, I was thinking and worried about the kids, him, the house, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to give y'all tips on self-care Tip number one. I wake up really, really, really early to get the girls ready for school. I wake them up, I go and brush my teeth, and then I get all the stuff I need to do their hair. I come back to their side of the house, to their restroom. I do their hair. I make sure that they're dressed right, correctly. Make sure that if it's cold outside, they have a jacket. Long story short, I make sure that they leave the house ready for school and they are situated. By the time I come back to my room and actually get to take a deep breath and go back to sleep oh excuse me that i just broke on camera by the time i get back to my room and try and lay back down my mind's already going i know that i have to do dishes i know i have to do laundry i know the baby's about to wake up or either he's already up uh, and it's just like it starts from there and my whole day just goes away on taking care of everything in the house the kids and i hardly get that time so Tip number one, excuse me if I'm rambling on, but tip number one, make sleep a part of your self-care. Um, especially now that I'm pregnant, I tell Lucky like I need that one hour to take a nap because my body feels it. And he can tell you himself, like whenever I'm sleepy, I get cranky. Like the same way that, the same way that whenever I don't eat or I'm hungry, I get cranky. So make sleep a part of your self-care tip number two Hi, 
you have to be sure that whatever you're intaking, food-wise, drink-wise, is going to balance out your self-care. For example, a lot of times, men, I know I used to do this, so I'm not just gonna put this on men. A lot of times, when people are stressed out, they turn to like, drinking, or, or they think that drinking's gonna make them feel better, and that that's like, a way of taking care of themselves when really that's just hurting you more like that's just putting a strain on your body on your mental health especially if you're mentally not stable so drinking is not a solution to self-care or stress or anxiety just want to throw that out there it'll also help your self-esteem when you start eating healthy and you start feeling more energized and um, start feeling just more fresh and more light rather than eating so much junk and saying, mira, look, who, look, look who's talking at. <laughs> look who's talking. Um, instead of eating so much junk, you know, after you like stuff your face with like so much junk and like just keep going even after you know you're full. Like if you start eating lighter portions and just start eating more greens and just start eating like a more balanced diet, you would really feel a di difference. And I know because I've done it in the past, but as of right now, excuse me because your girl is pregnant, if you did not know. So, tip number three, exercise. I know that it's so hard to exercise sometimes. I know it, I know because I've, I just know out of experience that sometimes like I put my mind to exercising, but it's hard to really like dedicate yourself to working out every single day or even like three times a week. But even if you just like wake up every morning and hit 20 burpees, or even if you just start doing like a walk around your neighborhood or go to the park and run a lot, and then just go straight home that right there is going to help you feel better and that is taking care of yourself because you're actually putting your body into motion into actually you know working in in, in in another area not for nobody else but for your own health happy wife happy life i don't want to ramble on but i do want to give a huge shout out a huge birthday shout out to vanessa clipper boys vanessa because it is her birthday today and she has been a huge part of this whole thing this loot this channel a huge supporter of this uh channel she has came through for meet and greets she's helped me she was the one that helped me uh bag up all the backpacks for the back to school free backpack giveaway you guys so y'all make sure that y'all type in the comments below I and mean, wish her a huge happy birthday so vanessa if you're watching this i know your kids are watching this because they, you tell me all the time that the kids are always watching our channel happy birthday girl we love you so much thank you for always coming through for us like i said those are all my tips but i am gonna finish doing my makeup you guys makeup takes forever so fellas don't be getting mad at young girl whenever they be taking forever doing their makeup because it's just that's just that's just what it is okay but comadres i wanted to make sure to encourage y'all to take that that me time some time for yourself because if you don't you're gonna be walking around resenting your family screaming about dirty dishes or a dirty room just little stuff like that is gonna put you through the roof so it is very important that you give your family your 100 you give your family your all so that is why i am stressing that y'all need to take this time for yourselves self-care it is very important so i need all you ladies all my comadres to type down below in the comments hashtag it's my time let's go make sure y'all have a great day i love y'all so much don't forget to love yourself you are not going to be able to love anybody else around you if you don't love yourself so with that being said this is the finishing look you guys something simple quick and easy with some natural fall tone vibes y'all have a great day great evening love y'all so much Luchi gang, luchi gang, luchi gang.